playing along. You see, Gobani, this is what true friendship is. Not standing like a drooling statue as your only friend is hauled away like so many sacks of grain. Steel. I guess that's one way of looking at it. Let's say I circumvented the market. I found the price the merchant was charging unacceptable, so I set my own. What does the merchant have to complain about? His belly is full. If they are not fed, Gobani and her sisters become most unruly. <laughs> Were it not for the Hollow Moon, they would have eaten me whole when I arrived in Redfur. Some call them thieves, but that's such an impolite term. The Hollow Moon's work is charitable by nature. They procure things for people. Gobani and I know when we have outstayed our Pardon my saying so, but you were obviously doing well for yourself. What brought you here? I'm surprised he had one left to hand out. Apologies, I should explain. Our agents give these to the infirm so their need is not questioned when they petition us for aid. Cindertail was very liberal with his tokens. We thought his cinch tigers would be useful to have around, guard duty and such, but between his tiger's sugar habit and his handing out hollow moon tokens like candy, he practically emptied out our stores. Can you lift coin from a rich man's pocket without getting your hand stuck in it? Then talk to Valir upstairs. He might have something for you. Fadi sent you? She thinks perhaps you can do work for us? Who are you to know so little, yet offer so much? Hmm... Maybe you are less interested when you hear what we do? You are familiar with the custom of property ownership, yes? I have a thing, it is mine. You take it, it is still mine, yes? Why? Because I did not give it to you. And if you are starving, and use what you took to feed your belly, is it still mine? No. Whatever you stole, food, money to buy food, silks to trade for food, it is inconsequential next to saving you from death. You think we should work for our bread, yes? But many can't work. They're injured, sick, or just too hungry. The Hollow Moon gives them what they need. Many of them appreciate what we do. Sometimes a merchant falls on hard times. His stock is poor, or the price of sugar is too high. Then he... Of course, of course. <laughs> now, I was hoping you could assist me with a rather... delicate matter that has presented itself. Shanra, leader of the merchants here, has threatened to call in the Thalmor. This is a problem. This place was not always a trading post. It was built upon a tomb, whose gauntlet of traps have kept it sealed for generations. There lies the trouble, yes? The only known entrance to the tomb is within Jode's Hall. The place is teeming with guards. We will need their cooperation to gain entry to the tomb. Go to Jode's Hall and speak to Tulaira. If I am right, she is no happier about Shandra's decision than we are. Once you are inside, you must retrieve what treasure you can, and return to me here. Thank you, my friend. While many have attempted the tomb's gauntlet of traps, none have returned to tell the tale. There are many dangers ahead of you. Be careful. I 
The Minion soldiers are looking for something at the Fallenesti winter site, but Frost Trolls hinder their progress. Frost Trolls? She's waiting. What are Frost Trolls doing in Grotwood? Are soldiers... I'm sorry, we can't chat for long. I'm waiting for someone. Really? Then you must be the newcomer everyone's talking about. Impressive work. Tell me, were you telling the truth about Cindertail, or were you just covering for one of your fellows? Truly, I wonder if I can take your word for that. An honest thief seems a contradiction of terms. No matter. Tell me, why have you come? Is he mad? Why would he ask for such a thing? He knows the danger! Yes, I see. The treasure of Anabi could certainly be persuasive. It may be our only chance of keeping the Thalmor out of our affairs. I'll give you the key, but please, be careful. I don't want your death on my hands.
They've gone to see Chandra. If you hurry, you might catch them. Pulara and Valier working together. Ponabi, did you ever think we would see this day? No, Chandra. Come now, smile. Only good can come of such an auspicious alliance. You are wise to say so, Chandra. Such flattery. Tell me, why have you called me here? We have a gift for you, Chandra. To show our appreciation and solidify our friendship. And I believe it has just arrived. My friend, if you would do the honors. Chandra is honored. Tell me, what have you brought? Spices? Gemstones, perhaps? <gasps> Wherever did you get this marvelous gem? Legend has it that Joan was struck by a bolt of light. For but a second, she turned from her twin, and overtaken by sadness, shed a single tear. Joan brushed it from her cheek, and it fell to the desert below. Joan's tear, such a beautiful gem. Of course not, a fanciful tale. This jewel was cut from a Varla stone by Azesas, greatest jeweler of the first era. But it's a good story, isn't it? And will fetch a fine price. You do your friends credit. Such a prize deserves a fine reward. I thought you might have something in mind, seeing as you went through all the trouble of procuring this precious jewel. Name your price. Ah, clever and loyal. A rare combination. Very well. I prefer not to have the Thalmor looking over my shoulder anyhow. Instead, we will invest in Jod's chariot. Our coffers still need guarding, yes? As the hollow moon waxes, it is only fair that we balance the scales. We will invest significant capital in bolstering our esteemed protectors. Otherwise, we might find ourselves waiting in one of Valir's famous lines, no? My good friend, you have done so much for us and asked so little in return. If all my agents were so skilled and selfless, we might bring our services to the world. With Chandra appeased, we will continue to do what we do best. While I am sure Jod's chariot will try to stop us, they will never blot us out entirely, no? Thank you, my friend. We would not be here without your help. Thank you. 